welcome to Farringdon Station. This is, uh, we're at the new West Ticket Hall where we're connecting uh, onto the existing Thameslink Station. Behind me, we're constructing the new uh, diamond ceiling, uh, which is a, an ornate signature piece of Farringdon Station, where it represents the local community of Hatton Gardens, where they have the diamond quarter in London. So where we've taken the side out of the station, we're currently constructing the temporary works in order to bring in over 100 pieces that are being constructed up at Derby into the site itself in order to form the ceiling. All the pieces themselves are bespoke um, and they're being made in uh, individual moulds that they can actually be struck and transported all the way down to Farringdon in order for us to piece together. In total there, there is 102 units which create the ceiling of which 63 are the slab units and 39 are the beam units. The beam units uh, are installed first and then the slabs take support from those beams. The total weight is approximately 360 tonnes. There is a special design mix uh, for durability because these, this unit has to last a long, long time, so durability is, is, is most important. Not only that, but the, the, the aesthetic nature of the ceiling as well. This is not just a structural ceiling, it's actually an aesthetic one as well. Thousands of people are going to walk under it on a daily basis, and so the aesthetic properties and qualities are, are vitally important. So when, when you get involved in something like this, it has a great uh, impression on the local area because 80% of the people live within three miles of the factory here. And it puts a little place in Derbyshire on the map and such a, a worldwide internationally famed crossrail project. Within the next couple of weeks, the first pieces will arrive from Derby and start being installed. Once all them pieces are in place, we'll then connect them all up and connect them to the steelwork and build the steelwork structure around it in order to hang the ceiling off it. Once the steelwork is in place and the ceiling is hanging off, we can then strike all this backdropping and take it all away to reveal this massive, visually striking entrance hall to the new Elizabeth Line station.